Hello friends, this is Prashant again. So in today's video, we are going to talk about uh, processing rules. So I have shown you this particular diagram earlier, uh, where I had explained how the publish channel work. Publish channel as we know is required when you want to send some data from Maximo to any external system asynchronously. And in the publish channel, there are multiple layers by which data processes. Whenever you are going to send data from Maximo to other system, many times you have requirement to modify the data. Uh, there can be multiple examples. For example, there is a custom field into which you want to set a value. If the condition does not meet, you want to stop that transaction to be processed. So if you have these kind of requirements, there are multiple ways how you can do the customization. Uh, one way is you can use uh, the classes. So you have user exit classes, you have processing classes on the object structure. Also you have classes that is one way of doing it. Other ways you can create automation script later in our series. We will also see about the automation scripts to do the same job. But if you want to do it using configuration, there is a method which has been given by IBM in is processing rules. So you can basically set processing rules and you can set these rules on publish channel for outbound and similarly you can set processing rules on enterprise services also for inbound. I have not covered enterprise services so far so I am not going to talk about it but I want to uh, talk about the processing rules on publish channel for now. So that will give you an idea that uh, how you can modify the message which you are sending uh, via uh, processing rules over publish channel. So here I have created an external system. So this is my demo external system. Uh, we have already seen how we create it and all other related things we have already discussed in previous videos. So you can check about uh, how to create uh, uh, external system and then related configuration, how to create object structure. And you can also see how to create publish channel in my earlier video, which are available in the series. So for now, I wanted to show you how the processing rule works. So for that, there is a publish channel. And for the publish channel, we have created and uh, so we have created an external system and we have associated a publish channel and this particular publish channel has uh, an object structure which we have created. It's a custom object structure and this particular object structure uh, has uh, two objects. So certain fields which we are uh, sending from Maximo to outbound system uh, for work order object as well as related labor records, labor actuals reporting which user is going to do, we are going to send it to external system. So uh, now we will see how you can do the modification and how you can do the, uh, you know, the, you can apply the processing room to do the modif modification. So the, you will be see there are three particular buttons which are available into this particular section. So first thing first is you will be using uh, either of it for doing the the creating the processing rules so if i create a processing rule create a new row button you will be able to see that it opens this particular section and then uh, you can give a name of the rule and then you can see that there are some actions which are available so you can see that there are eight different kind of actions which are there so if you want to combine some data you can use combine you can replace a value in a field you can set a value, you can skip a transaction, you can skip a children. So in this use case, if you have to send only work order and you are not going to send the child record, then you can do skip children. You want to skip the current MBO. You want to skip whatever value is going with, uh, you know, you want to skip it for, in this case, work order as well as the lab trans data. You can do using skip record. If you want to split the data, you can do it. And then if you want to stop the transaction, you can also stop a particular transaction, uh, you know, uh, which uh, you can use any of it as per your requirement, right? So let us see how we will use it. So the first, what we can do is we can do a set. So you have to give a name. Uh, so I am just giving a name as set. Then you will be able to see that you have to make sure that enable checkbox should be checked. If you want that particular processing rule to be applied, then 
देर विल बी मल्टीपल थ्री डिफरेंट चेक बॉक्सेज विच आर ऑल्सो देयर सो अप्लाई ऑन प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्ट इंसर्ट अप्लाई ऑन प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्ट अपडेट एंड अप्लाई ऑन प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्ट डिलीट सो बाई डिफॉल्ट ऑल थ्री विल बी चेक्ड बट इफ यू वॉन्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर एक्शन टू बी हैपनिंग ओनली वेन अ न्यू रिकॉर्ड विल बी क्रिएटेड यू डो नॉट वॉन्ट दिस टू बी हैपनिंग वैन रिकॉर्ड इज अपडेटेड और वैन द रिकॉर्ड इज डिलीटेड यू कैन अनचेक दिस चेक बॉक्सेज सो द नेम ऑफ द चेक बॉक्सेज आर प्रटी सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी बट यू कैन यूज इट इन दैट वे सो आई विल सेव इट नाउ फॉर सेटिंग द सेट रूल वी क्लिक ऑन सब रिकॉर्ड फील्ड एंड दिस डायलॉग विल ओपन सो नाउ यू कैन एक्चुअली सेट वैल्यू इन एनी फील्ड एंड ऑल द फील्ड्स विच यू हार विच आर अवेलेबल विच दैट दैट यू हैव नॉट एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर विल बी अवेलेबल हेयर सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस से इन एग्जाम्पल आई हैव शेयर द फेलियर कोड सेलेक्टेड द फेलियर कोड एंड इफ यू हैव अ कंडीशन दैट इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर फील्ड इज नॉट नल देन ओनली द वैल्यू वट एवर यू आर सेटिंग शुड बी शुड बी देयर देन यू कैन चेक दिस चेक बॉक्स इन दिस केस से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज that i am actually trying to set up a value on the failure code field and even if the failure code field on the work order is not filled i want a field uh, the value to be sent from the asset associated with that particular work order so i have used relationship and if i am checking the checkbox replace when null if the value is null then only this rule is going to uh, then the room, room to work and then obviously it will fetch the assets failure code otherwise if i will select any failure code say for example manually in that case that value will not be replaced you can always do the setup basic based on the integration control uh, you can use value for hard coded string if you want any max var then you can choose the max var here if you have stored a value in the max var and then you can also use any other field from where you want to send the data maybe you want to copy a value so you can use the field otherwise as i explained that if you want to fetch the value on the basis of a relationship from some other object you can do that so in this particular case we will be fetching the information of a failure code from the asset associated with the work order if the failure code on the work order is null right so this is how you will actually be using the the set rule the next very common rule that you are actually going to use is skip so you will notice there are multiple skips here so you have skip then you have skip children then you have skip record so what is the difference so skip is something which you can use in inbound as well as in outbound messages and what it does is it basically skips that whole transaction so for example here if i will be skipping a work order and the lab trans it will skip the work order as well as lab trans the whole transaction will be skipped and it will not give me any error but then if you check the log you will find that the transaction has been skipped it there will be entry for that in maxima log the skip record is again something which is very similar but you will only be using a skip record with publish channel you can't use skip uh, skip record with enterprise service and you can actually skip on a basis of skip record you can use on a basis of a condition that if a particular condition is met and you want to skip the record then you can actually use the skip record rule and skip children is that it will send the parent but it will just skip the child so for example in this case if uh, i am sending work order and lab trans only work order that is the parent will be sent and the child will be skipped so you can choose as per the requirement that you have that which rule you have to actually apply and if you have more than one rule then it follows via sequence behind the scene you will see that there is a sequence field which is available so if i choose skip here i can give a name so if all the uh, processing rules are enabled in this case first set will be applied then skip will be applied so it follows the sequence number that you are going to put it there and if you have obviously uncheck this enabled check box then that particular rule will not be applied use the skip rule you have to set add modify condition so you click on add modify condition button and then this particular dialog will open and here you can actually define so first thing first is you have to define a condition so just a condition number you can have multiple conditions added here and this particular condition uh, will be evaluated again uh, once the skip rule will be fired then you can define uh, what is the the level at which you want to do the validation for the skip so if you want to do on the on xml field 
if you want to do it on an object field if you want to do for object set you want to make sure that uh, it has to happen using a control you can do it a very common thing which we generally use is xml field so you can use the field so in this particular case my requirement is that i want to stop sending any transaction to my external system where i do not have the status criteria met so for this i choose an uh, integration control this is out of the box integration control and this integration control whatever status is there in this uh, particular integration control if the status change will happen uh, or the status when it is passing will will be equal to any of the status i want to make sure that that particular status uh, work order do not go to my external system so i can always uh, apply that and then there are multiple different uh, evaluation types you can choose so depending upon the criteria so in this particular case uh, i can choose not equals so in my requirement is that i want to make sure all the status which work order which do not have the status mentioned in this particular integration control should not go to external system so i have said that and then i will do okay so once i do okay let me also show you the integration control so integration control you can also create your own integration controls are multi are uh, different types so you click on the select action and you will be able to see the integration control this basically provide you a placeholder to keep all the data associated in the form of a list mostly so here the one which i have chosen work order start so you can see that here the value is 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 approved say if i add some other value for example if i say comp and if i am going to associate this particular list control as i did on the skip uh, when the condition will fire it will validate that work order what is the work order status and depending upon the condition uh, you know this list will be used for the comparison and then accordingly the rule the processing rule will do its job you can create new one for example you can create multiple different uh, 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 you know types of integration controls are there so i am going to actually uh, talk about it in separate video uh, how it is used uh, but this is the way how you basically create it so i am not creating a new one i have just used one uh, out of the box one and i it has two status so whenever the status is not going to be uh, in my case whenever the work order status is not going to be equal to approve and comp that particular transaction will not be sent to external system right another rule which i also want to talk about is uh, stop uh, so this particular transaction stop is something which works similar to skip but with one difference so if you are using a stop in that particular case in the case of outbound transaction you if the condition is meeting it again require a condition to be uh, added if you if the condition is satisfied it will give you an error on the ui while skip doesn't give you any error on the ui right and uh, if you are using stop for an inbound transaction then that particular transaction will just be there in your inbound queue and it will not be processed because there is no way for a user to see the error right so the you will be able to see that particular thing in the message reprocessing so that is the difference between uh, if someone asks you what is the difference between skip and stop they both are same though the difference is whether you see the error or you do not see the error right the next tool which uh, i also want to talk about is uh, skip children so if you see the skip children as the name suggests that it will skip the children record when the condition is me is going to meet uh, so in this particular case i am going to apply this on work order i also have child record of lab trans and uh, as uh, it is a skip rule i have to put a condition because it has to validate against a particular condition whether it has to skip the child or not so again i created a condition and uh, i can use object set in this particular case so object set uh, will basically show me what is the object that i am going to look so here i have lab trans so i want to skip the lab trans so let me search the the lab trans and then you can choose the relationship right so what is the relationship so lab trans is the relationship that i have choose and if it exists then it has to be skipped right so that is what the uh, the condition i am going to put on the basis of an object set i can always choose another uh, relationship as well right and uh, maybe i will change it to another uh, evolution type say it will be not exist 
it will be easy for me to demonstrate. So in this case, uh, if the left trans is not there, that particular uh, object will be skipped totally. Uh, the children will be skipped, right? We will not be sending that particular left trans data. So I'll click OK and then uh, now we will go and we will do the testing. So to demo whether our processing rules are working or not, I have created this work order. This work order has an asset 1948 which has a failure class associated which is hardware and here you can see on the work order I have not associated any failure class. Uh, let me also show you what I did. So basically what I have done is that I have done multiple transactions. There are three rules which we have associated. First is replace the uh, set the value of the, the failure class from the asset that is one. The second one is if the status is not equal to approve and complete then that particular work order will not be going though publish channel has event listener enabled. And the third one is that if uh, there is no uh, labor reporting that particular uh, MBO will be skipped. That, that this, is the three, this is the third one for skip children which we have used. So what I have done here is that if you see I have done this when I created the work order I saved that time the status of the work order was vapor then I changed the status to approve and I have added uh, a labor record in that and then I changed the status in progress. So basically there are three different uh, transaction I have done for change status and here on the actual I can show you that I have done a reporting of a labor. So if I go and if I see, I have basically first transaction that I have. If I show you is this is a particular XML which is being sent and you can see that the failure code is being replaced by the value which is associated as a failure code of asset as we have also set the value replace for null the value current value is null on work order so it has been replaced and if you notice this particular thing this only has work order mbo it doesn't have left trans because at this uh, point of time uh, when i change the status to approve there was no labor report reporting done so i can we can see here that only work order mbo has been sent there is no transaction which we have received for uh, changing the state when we did the first save for vapor this is the first transaction that we have and then the second one if we see uh, what it happened is that uh, after changing the status to approve I also added the left runs and when I did the save at that time you can see that another transaction has been sent and it also has the MBO left trans associated right and when I have done the third transaction to change the status in progress there is no transaction which has come correct. So this is uh, demonstrating all three rules where we have set a value, where we have skipped the children and we have also skipped the whole record. So I hope that you have uh, understood the concept of processing rules and uh, this is how the processing rule works. Uh, if you have any questions further, you can always put that in the comment of the video. Also, I will request you to share this particular video with your friends, like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.